Hyundai and Kia thefts keep rising despite offering a security fix. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. As many people are aware, Hyundai and Kia agreed to a 200 million legal settlement over theft issues. Yes, Korean automakers Kia and Hyundai have agreed to an estimated $200 million class action legal settlement over claims that many of the company's cars and SUVs are much too easy to steal. The truly unfortunate side of all of this is that it's mostly teens and kids who are stealing the cars. Yeah. Sometimes they're just too small to even see over the steering wheel. <laughs> That's the reason this problem represents a public safety issue, too, and authorities are referring to this as a gateway crime. The question is, where are the parents of these rogue kids? And furthermore, what are these car companies doing to prevent the thefts? I would be bringing the wrath of dad down on any kid of mine who stole the car, <laughs> and they'd never be out without my knowledge to have this opportunity, and they will not be TikTok users, where the how-to for this crime is being shared. Nearly three months ago, Hyundai and Kia unveiled software that was designed to thwart an epidemic of thefts of their vehicles caused by a security flaw that was primarily exposed on TikTok. So far, the fix really hasn't solved the problem, in part because so many vehicle owners still don't know about this, which is part of the reason we elected to cover it today. That's right. Across the country, thieves are still driving off with the vehicles at an alarming rate. Data from seven U.S. cities gathered by the Associated Press shows that the number of Hyundai and Kia thefts are still growing despite the company's efforts to fix the glitch, which makes 8.3 million vehicles relatively easy targets for thieves. From Minneapolis, Cleveland, and St. Louis to New York, Seattle, Atlanta, Grand Rapids, Michigan, police have reported substantial year-over-year -year increases in Hyundai and Kia theft reports through April. An eighth city, Denver, which was hit early by the theft outbreak, reported a 23% decline from 2022 levels, but still endured a high number of thefts. So far this year, Minneapolis police have received 1,899 Kia and Hyundai theft reports, nearly 18 times the number for the same period in 2022. Mm. Brian O'Hara, the police chief of Minneapolis, said in an email, the scope of the problem is only expanding and is exponentially worse than it has been in the past. We have some weeks where nearly as many Kias and Hyundais are stolen in a week as had previously been stolen in a year. It's unreal. The most recent nationwide numbers for 2023 on Hyundai and Kia thefts aren't yet publicly available. The figures for early 2023, as calculated by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, won't be released until later this year. Hyundai and Kia both have this problem and are part of the same South Korean corporate family. Some U.S. cities have reported that 60% or more of their auto theft reports now involve Hyundais or Kias. Videos on TikTok that illustrate how to start and steal Kia and Hyundai models and don't go looking for those, you guys. Using only a screwdriver and a USB cable or device have allowed the thefts to spread across the nation since late 2021. In New York, the Hyundai Kia theft problem has grown so worrisome that the city held a news conference last month to offer owners devices that can track their vehicles if they're stolen. New York police reported 966 Hyundai and Kia thefts as of April 30, nearly seven times the number in the same period of 2022. The disturbing theft rate, which authorities nationally have linked to other crimes, including at least 14 reported crashes and eight fatalities, well, you got kids driving these cars, yeah. has persisted despite the automakers' unveiling of their anti-theft software campaign in mid-February. Using an acronym for Grand Larceny of Autos, New York Mayor Eric Adams said, Kia and Hyundai are driving the GLAs. Hyundai and Kia have said they're accelerating their distribution of the software, with Hyundai saying it reached 6,000 installations a day. The company says it's using direct mail, phone calls, digital advertising, and social media to try to reach the affected owners. If you happen to own a Kia or a Hyundai and are concerned about theft, the NHTSA, or the National Highway Traffic Safety Association, urges owners of these vehicles to contact Hyundai at 800-633-5151 or Kia at 800-333-4542 for information on a free update. Ira Gabriel, a spokesperson for Hyundai, said the company has tried to remove from social media the instructional videos that show how to steal the cars. But as new ones surface, he added, there have been additional waves of thefts. Kia said in a statement that it began developing and testing security software last year. The process occurred at an accelerated pace and allowed us to begin rolling out the enhanced security software earlier this year in phases, the company said.
Safety authorities say the company's software rollout has been far too slow. Of the 4.5 million Kia vehicles that are eligible for the fix, the automaker says it's installed the software on about 210,000 vehicles, or just 5%. Kia says it has sent notifications to about 2.8 million of the affected owners and expects to have notified all of them by the end of this month. I guess today we are helping with getting the word out. For Hyundai, the figure is about 225,000 out of 3.8 million vehicles. That's roughly 6%. Hyundai said they had expected to have contacted all the affected vehicle owners by May 18th. But did they reach you if you're a Hyundai owner? Again, the contact info for Hyundai is 800-633-5151 or Kia 800-333-4542 for information on this free update. The company's affected cars, many of them the lower cost models from the 2011 to early 2022 model years, were not equipped with the theft immobilizer. Such a device contains a computer chip in the key that must be recognized by another chip in the steering column before the engine will start. Though most automakers have had the chip for years, Hyundai and Kia have lagged behind the industry as a whole in installing them on many models, thereby allowing thieves to exploit the security gap. In the 2015 model year, immobilizers were standard on 96% of other manufacturers' models, but only on 26% of Hyundai and Kia models, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety said. This is just another wrap against Kia and Hyundai for an already questionable quality vehicle. That's right. Mm -hmm. The automaker service campaign to install the software should have been more aggressively pursued, said Michael Brooks, executive director of the Nonprofit Center for Auto Safety. Brooks suggested that if the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration had managed a recall of the affected vehicles, it would have stood a better chance of alerting owners to the dangers and need to seek a repair. Unless people are really following the news, he said, they might not know about theft issues, and mm -hmm. a lot of people aren't following the news. Exactly. Shakira Ellis, a music instructor from Long Beach, California, is among those who hadn't heard about the thefts until her 2019 Hyundai Tucson was stolen in front of her home around 4 a.m. on April 25th. The car, which contained some of her musical instruments, hasn't turned up. Ellis, 26, said her Tucson lacked the immobilizer and she hadn't been informed of Hyundai's campaign to distribute the software fix. If she had, Ellis said, she would have immediately taken it in to be fixed. She feels Hyundai should provide her with a new car to replace her stolen vehicle. I feel like I should be compensated, she said. It's been ruined because it's defective and people know it's a target. Even with a recall, not everyone takes an affected car to a dealer to be fixed. Unfortunately, recall completion rates, Brooks said, average only around 60% of owners. To add to the problem, some of the vehicles, about 15% in Hyundai's case, can't be fixed with software. Mm. But both Hyundai and Kia said they will pay for anti-theft devices for those owners. Wow. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel or you're a good dealer stopping by for the first time, you should be aware that the Homer Guy team is on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country. So we would love to hear from you. We've been telling consumers about bad dealers for well over a decade, but now we urge you good dealers out there to break with the stereotype that dealers have and use the dealer document we have posted in the description box down below or pinned in the comment section, and we will definitely be in touch with you. We want to add you to the list of good dealers we are building. In summary, we are essentially in search of dealers who offer good customer service with no funny business and provide a simple, honest car buying experience for their customers. So if this describes you, we'd love to hear from you. Again, our contact information is 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. By the way, I'd also like to say a thanks to the many viewers who have sent good dealer nominations to us, and we encourage others to follow with more. Just send us plenty of details as to why you think this particular dealer is good. Use the email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. Also, for our newest viewers out there, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Later this year is coming the announcement of an all-new car buying process to help car buyers get a new vehicle without all the typical hassles. There's a simple Google document to sign up for early notification on, and you can find it at our website, thehomeworkguide.com. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team and our show, is where you'll always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. We've been living up to that for 14 years. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our fast growing group of subscribers, we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. 
I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We We gotta gotta go. go.